Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld 1.0. Hello, Thrumbo. How you doing? We got some travelers out here out and about. Uh, Volpe took a really bad shot to her kidney, and I'm not a big fan of that. From a stupid bow. I didn't bring any medicine. I really didn't think I was going to attack this alliance of the Fearful Club anyway. I know I talked a big talk about it. I'd be more likely to go to this freaking crash site, to be honest with you. 2.4 days. Honestly, I might, e I might actually consider going there. Assuming Volpe doesn't get an infection or anything. If she does, we're going to turn right around and go back home. But we might buy some food and some stuff. Why is this not being hauled in? Yo. This is not where the slimy leather should be. Yo. Do we put slimy leather in here? Textiles? Leathers? Sli Why? Why would slimy leather be rejected from there? I don't understand. What's so wrong with it? I mean, our meat hooks are being used, just not... Not much important. You know what? Critical, if we can put them on the hooks, try to put them on the hooks. Save space. We are here. Trade. I know, Vulpy's got poor health. What am I going to do about it right now, okay? Mm, how do we only have 0.5 days worth of food? I guess we're turning it right around and going home, because we lost all our food somewhere. Polymer antifreeze? Don't even... Let's sell this bionic animal stomach. This hand. They have only have 36 silver. I mean, I'm here to unload stuff, so... Uh, get ready, boys. God, I hope you have some gold. Not, not the legendary bait, mace. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't sell that. You didn't sell... Okay, we didn't try to sell the titanium sword, right? No. Because that's Reynolds' primary weapon. I'm sure that's why. Rest of that we want to sell. Do you have gold? You do... You have literally one thing of gold. You're killing me here, guys. Holy cow. Beta poly small sculpture masterwork. 19,000. 7,000 beauty. And don't get me wrong, it's pretty great. Don't want my water mill generator? I'm actually insulted, but I'll take your one gold. HC1 shield. Wow, look at that! Energy, 1200%. High capacity energy shield device. Top tier class of personal shields. Mark 1 increases energy capacity by a factor of 10, but recycles the shield slower. That's really awesome. I can't afford it. But it's really awesome. I might have to come back here when I can afford that. But for now, I guess, uh, jeez, you are... You are some broke-ass dudes! I don't want your squid leather. You have less food than I do! How are you people alive? I can't sell most of this. Why is everyone broke as hell? I guess take this back. Take the hand back, which is a weird concept in my head. Take some of these weapons back. I mean, they have clothing we could buy. But they don't really have any clothing I want. Ah, you know what? I'll take this. You know what? I'll take this excellent shield belt. Never mind. Yeah, sell that. Sell that. We'll take some of this stuff back. Some of these cruddy weapons. Actually, you know what? No, sell the cruddy weapons. Yeah, not the legendary mace, but sell everything else. We'll keep the stomach for now. Yeah. Wait. Hmm... Now I'm thinking about it, that shield belt would be pretty good. Yeah, I do want it. So I guess we'll have to keep the keep the hand, get rid of the stomach, and then keep some of this stuff that's worth the most money until we're down to thirty six. 
All right. That was the dumbest trade. Uh, so what if we went to this strange crash site? 3.2. I don't know where... Where did you guys lose all your food? Where did literally all of your food go, guys? I don't understand. Let's try to hit a different spot here and then set up camp and see if we can forage some food. It's worked for us before. Yeah, I don't want to be in the base. Come on now. Relationship. There are people who have relationship with people who are arriving. Oh, Gal's brother is here. How you doing, Jacob? Welcome to this place with these things in it. Can you camp yet? Settlements cannot be directly adjacent to each other. I'll tell you what. Come out here into the middle of nowhere. Set up a camp and then we'll do a forage. It's a bulk goods trader arriving in the colony. Package survival meal research is done. This is important. This is very important because then we don't have to worry about food rotting. That's probably what happened actually now that I think about it. The food rotted. Four package survival meals due until we have... A hundred? Please. And then those... Will... Those will go into a... Tray rack. Where only those will go. Cool, cool. All right, you, you, you guys get in position here so I can get you to do some foraging. All right, package survival meals being cranked out now. Yep. Cool. Tray rack. Package survival meals, critical importance. Awesome. <laughs> this place is full of uh, bucks now. Great. And this one's full of fish. Excellent. Alright, are you guys... There we go, finally. Set up a camp. For the love of Pete. Okay. What? That was weird. Okay. Undraft. Harvest all the mushrooms. Harvest all the berries. Oh my lord! Tame all the ground runners. Harvest all the oranges. Dude. Three ground runners here. They're all female. Would they forget to breed any male ones? Some compacted salt. Some compacted boars. Marble wall. And a bit of steel. Nothing I'm incredibly interested in. But we need to get harvesting done. So I'll give you guys a day to go on a harvest. And we'll call that a life. Get these bed bugs out of here, dude. Dude, are we supposed to be putting chunks in here? I don't think we're supposed to be putting chunks in here. Stop putting chunks in here. All right. Call out most of those chunks. Well, there's Ground Runner 2. That was easy. Obviously, the plan will be to teach it to do everything. I don't know if they can haul for us, but if they can, that's a, that's a, even a bigger bonus. All right, everyone's sleeping on the ground right now. What are you going to do about it? Manually make them take out the bedrolls and use them? Like intelligent people? Nah. Seems like a lot of work. The... The traders. I almost forgot about the traders. Jumper. Go talk to Jumper. Where's he from? Oh, the, uh... Olinor amalgamation. They have four cats. I don't want it. You want some meat? We got meat. Yes, we do. We got meat. How about you? They have 800 silver. They actually have some money. 
We don't really need your chem fuel. I want your components. I don't really want your cloth. Have this one mega sloth wool. Have some flammel wool. Have some bird skin and light leather. In fact, take a lot of our leathers. I'll keep the plain leather for now. The rest of that can go. I'm keeping the heavy chitin too. Or insect chitin. Raptor shrimp plates. Dude. Definitely keeping that. I want to make some armor out of that if we can. We got berries. Yes, we do. We got berries. How about you? Don't want your cornmeal and stuff. Clothing, if it ain't perfect, it's going. And then... Ooh, masterwork dusters. Got two of them. Anything poor? Mm, no. Wow. We done good. Done very good. They have some poor clothing. We don't want it. Alpha poly gas lamp. It's pretty great. ER3. What is ER3? It's an intermediate robot. Is this like a emergency? Is this a healer bot? Because if this is a healer bot, I'm uh, I'm wanting it. <laughs> I'm almost wanting it enough to not buy their components for it. Oh my god, we can almost we can afford it. Oh my god, am I really gonna do this? Am I really gonna sell 18 and 22 corn for this? And uh, 846 rice? Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Oh, I'm gonna do this. Here, take my alpaca meat too. There you go, now we're making money. Apparently alpaca meat's worth a pretty penny here on the rim. No, actually I'll keep my corn. Take the alpaca meat. Take some chinchilla meat. Some monkey meat. Take the meats that I don't really necessarily want to have more of right now. Uh, you know what? We can... Dude, we can hunt. Just take the flammel meat. It reminds me of sad things. Apparently raptor shrimp meat's good and edible to someone. Take the shellfish meat. Take the elephant meat. Give me your chem fuel. Nah, it's, that price ain't good enough. You know, take this portable chart. Uh, nah, I. Yeah, take this portable charging plat. Nah, I'm, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I'm being indecisive. Please don't hurt me. Uh, you know, what? I'll keep my pineapples. And I'll keep my heavy fur. Then I'll keep two eel skin. My dudes! That is totally uh that is totally a medical robot. It has to be. Senpai, install it. And then uh urgently haul in these components. I'm flipping out right now. Mentally. Damon's already got the components. Senpai, you can grab the uh, silver then. Thank you, sirs. Activate. Dude, it has arms! Tame critter of the ragamuffins. It's just gonna wander. We have- but we have a medical bot. That's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. I love it too much. We have a cold snap. That's less amazing. I hate it. I hate it and I don't want to have it. So Bob is recharging. I guess Bob, you're you're good to go again. You're probably healed up, right? Yeah, you're good. Cool. So I guess I can bring you back until we actually need you. And then we can pull you back out.
emergency response bot. That's so cool! Tier 3, it's gotta be amazing, right? Stupid cold snap. Oh, did Hydraulic... He doesn't really do plant stuff. So he's just kind of dinking around. Trying to tame these ground runners. Which, hey, if we get another one or two, I'm not going to complain. Alright. Do that. Who else helps with uh, plant cutting? It's just pretty much a Volpe, huh? It's a lot of work just for her to do. But if she's good at it, which I assume she is, she'll be getting a lot of a lot of stuff for us. We're gonna give her a couple hours to do that, and uh, I'm gonna be uh, sad because of the cold. It's negative 13 outside now, so there goes our plants, and uh, we of course, dude, you may now praise my genius because I did not sell the corn. I did sell a bunch of rice, but I did not sell all that corn. We can hold 2,000 survival meals here, so we can hold food for days. There's a fish, by the way. What kind of fish? Yes. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help. I'm just not good at it. Which means I might lose some, but eh. Yo, pineapples are here too. All right. Let me see how we're doing on food. Say I want to reform the caravan. Caravan, excuse me. Needs obedience. That just means you can't ride it. It can graze food, food from the environment. That's good. So, more mushrooms. You have 1.8, 3.8, 4.2 2 days worth of food. Just from stopping and doing some extra 3.1 days here. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. That's more than enough to adventure some more, and Volpe should be fine. Her uh, kidney injury needs to be healed up a little bit more, but I think that'll be done with no problem. Someone will take care of it. But yeah, let's try to see what's at this crash site. You have my attention. Also, Volpe's fully healed now. In addition to that, we also need more gold, so... We gotta find it somehow. Now, I did sell a lot of animals. A lot of animal uh, corpses, but I can always hunt some more. There are flammels here that can be hunted. The monkeys can be hunted. And so can the rats. So it's not like we're short on food. Plus, we're always bringing in a little bit of fish at a time. Did we... Yes. <laughs> I was going to say, did we get more of that steel? Yes, yes we did. Looks like all of these components have been dug out. We have 59 components now, which gives me a happy. Don't get it twisted. Just looking around, see what I can get around here. I suppose since we're not harvesting... Since we're no longer going to be harvesting any... Uh, Anything from here, we might as well harvest what's already grown. Let's try to grab some mushrooms as well. Which kind of count as meat. Grab oranges too. Because apparently we're in Florida. Did I make that joke already? I think I did. Sorry, I grew up in Florida. It's what I know. Luckily, I only... Uh, I left before I completely grew up. I... Left as a Florida kid, I never got the chance to evolve into a Florida man. Otherwise, uh, this would be a very different series, probably. What do you got for me, Cassandra? I... Okay. That's... that's... Okay. That's like throwing water into the ocean, but thanks. Hell, that's like throwing salt into the ocean. To make it saltier. Let's try to get this panther out of the way. I don't trust it. I think it's the only predator. Eh, not quite. The lockjaw is technically a predator as well. Uh, why do you have a medical emergency? Oh, it's cold in here. I understand. I do. Um, you know, I'll give you a wood stove furnace. 
Yeah, prisoners like that, right? Just put that right there. Panther Revenge. Everyone hold on to your butts. Especially if your name is Jeberus. Time to combine your ability to run with your ability to gun, my dude. Keep going. He's done it. Actual factual champion hunter. He has done it. That's right, you just beat it with the back of your pistol. Well done. So, could I, like, activate you and then... Nah, let's... Don't help with that. Instead, um... Senpai, you're up. Neat component. Someone must be delivering it. Oh, you did it anyway. I wanted to see if the ER bot could do it. Never mind. Go lay down. Alright, Senpai, can you build... What? Oh, Bob's doing it. Here. Here's a heater. Should have just joined us, man. Uh, can someone fuel this thing? It's kind of useless without that. You can make wax, cook some meals on this thing. You can cook any of the regular types of meals, which is pretty cool. You can also burn away drugs and apparel here. But it'll uh, bring the room's temperature back up. Hmm, the Ground Runner 2. The Ground Runner that's in on the road got the flu. That's a little awkward. And unfortunate, especially since we're moving forward. It's up to 6 degrees in here. You can handle up to... Down to 16. It's because you're naked. Yeah, that would do it. That would do it. All right, I tell you what. Let's put a clothing rack in here. Because there's totally space for it. <laughs> uh, we'll make, like I said, we'll make this place bigger eventually. You know what, get rid of this. Uninstall this. Thame, if you could do me this favor. We'll put a clothing rack in here that stores, like, not as good clothing. There we go. And could you, like... No, you can't. Are we out of wood? No, we're not. Why do you say we need... Because uh, someone else is delivering it. Oh, because Bob's probably doing it. Really, Bob? This is how you're going to do me? Scrooge, please. Okay, here's what I want to do. I want to do awful to poor quality clothing at critical quality. Goes in here. So there's an awful shirt in here, for example. Move it. How do I... I just want him to move the shirt. But I want to give him some clothes, you know? Can he walk? He cannot walk. So he's kind of stuck here with the frostbite. Alright. Uh, I guess we could build another one of these. Sure. Does it say how high it gets the temperature up to? It does not. I want to build two anyway. Because I don't want to give them my hot, newfangled heater technology. Screw that. You think they've earned that from me? You think you've earned the right to not die? Um, yes, but... He actually might die of hypothermia. Cool. Fuel it and we're good. 
There you go. 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 15, 16. He'll be fine. That's all you needed. Honestly, giving them fire is probably not a good idea, but whatever. It is what it is. I don't remember turning on the... The beauty. Thanks for these, but whatever. I probably had that on for a while and just didn't notice. Hydraulic's fully healed, by the way. It's pretty great. Our ground runner. Not doing so well, of course. Got a case of the ground runner flu. It's like really close. 10 quality was only 18. And it's beating it at 18, so you know what? We're doing good, as far as I'm concerned. We're rocking it. Caravan request. Someone wants 19 revolvers for a core defense shield and a builder one. I mean, I'd love another builder, but I don't I love it that much. Anyway, yeah, you can get up now. Go put on... There you go. Yeah, that'll do you good. Temperature's getting back to zero now, so we should be uh, pretty good moving forward. We got plenty of berries. Got some oranges. Got some peaches. I'd say we're not doing too bad at all. We got 86 packaged survival meals. And it seems like, for the most part, we do prefer eating the maki and the stir-fry and stuff like that. So, that's good. I want to see the stuff that's in our in our refrigerators before we eat the packaged survival meals. And we seem to be smart enough to do that. Who'd have thunk it? Manage food restrictions. Lavish. <laughs> yeah, the, the, how about we not eat corpses? Uh, so, meals... Yeah. How about we avoid... Nah, I don't want to do that, though. Because then later... Later on, if I do want them to eat packaged survival meals, I'd have to switch that back. So we'll just let them do what they're doing. There's a trade ship. Uncle Transport Company. Hot dang. That, the comms console's down here. Let's talk to them. Watch out for their nephew, Transport Company, though. He's kind of a jerk. All right. They have 66 silver. Lots of animals. They have some uh, cow and some bulls. I don't really want that. I already got plenty of milk from Flamels. Hens and roosters. I mean, something else you could do, I suppose. Hey, we did. We tamed the rainbow Flamel. When did we do that? I didn't even see that happen. Right now, its name is Damsel. We might rename it, though. So uh, be on the lookout for that. They have some leathers. They don't really have anything dark young bark. Huh. Jade, Plasteel, do you have, like, gold? They have two gold. My god. Take this table. It's almost worth as much. Ugh. Ugh. People here are so broke, man. Take this t-shirt as well. I guess that's it. They don't even have any components. The gold is nice, though. We are now 10% of the way there to make getting that multi-analyzer done. Big. That's very big. Where's that damsel? Damsel, who tamed you? KD! KD, my dude! Very well done. Can tame this thing to do everything. It'll be pretty great. If I zoom out enough, damsel's spikes go overshadow and it's kind of weird. Wool growth, 25%. So the wool, I, I'm i supposing, is the spikes. And we'll see what that could do for us later. I kind of like the idea of creating some of these, but they're expensive. We do need to make a new mechanite storage eventually, but I don't want to spend two more components. Actually, it might not be wasted, you know? Thinking about it. Let's rock out another one of these. And let's see if the uh, emergency bot can take care of it. Maybe not. Maybe it's not able to do surgery, but... Don't know if you don't try, right? KD doing the tame and dance on Storm. 
pretty great. Guile doing the research dance on shield belts. 1.3 days and we will be at that crash site and we will see what's there. But guess what, folks? We're going to have to find out what's there next time here on Thet Plays RimWorld 1.0. We should be able to start sewing again very soon. I'm thinking the... Well, that was fast. <laughs> I'm thinking the... Uh, cold snap should be over relatively soon. And I think life will be pretty good again. But next time, we're going to see if we can install this Mechanite uh, storage spot into KD. We're going to see what's in this strange crash site. And overall, I hope we're going to have a good old time. Thank you again for watching this episode of That Plays Rim World 1.0. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video.